All right. I'm out here testing my Futaba. I did two runs already. Got the 84 and 86, but you know, there was just little test runs because, you know, I took my gyro off. So I didn't have no idea what the, if the car would go straight or not or what. And I'm new to that Futaba, so I'm just now learning settings and I couldn't set my gyro. You know, I couldn't keep the heading hold off. I, the mind gave me some tips, but it didn't help for that receipt for that transmitter. So, you know, and the heading hold come on in the middle of my testing and the car just break right real hard. So that was bad. Luckily, I didn't hit nothing, so I took it off. I think it was better just run it straight than run it with the gyro and tear up the car. Hopefully, I don't tear it up trying to drive it without it. We'll see what I can do. I'm still not really comfortable, you know, driving it. Let's start the timer. That's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Not really comfortable driving with this receiver. I got brand new graphene batteries. I know I need a new body because this body is held together with a bunch of duct tape. Duct tape holding this whole body together. So I got a new body on the way. It's a GT body, so I can try for the 4S challenge. But I'm still waiting for it to get here. Let's see what I can do with these brand new graphene batteries. They ran on them, but the two times I just ran. <clears throat> and something was rubbing, and what was rubbing when I was running is my chassis keep hitting the ground because the batteries are so heavy it will lower my car so now I have to compensate for that I have to see what I can do about that battery low on my camera so it might cut off on me I don't know we'll see maybe I can get a run in real quick before it do if anybody got any tips on how to set the gyro up with the 4PLS, 4PLS Futaba, let me know, because I was having lots of problems.
see what's going on. Yeah, that's just a little test run, a two little test run, so. I got on it a little bit, not a lot. Kinda, not only once it went past me, <laughs> I was kind of scared to get on it before. One GPS say 96.6, some other ones say 98. So that's what I got on my little test runs. Um, I wasn't really on it that hard. I think these are some good batteries. Because on my other batteries, I ran it hard and got the one on one. And I ain't did that to these yet. I probably got the full throttle for a quick second and had to stop and made it to 96.6 or 98. So if I get enough range and hold full throttle for a second, I'll probably can get real far. I mean, I'll probably can get up there a little bit. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm out.